Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to the feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -up. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup team. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, for the round! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, the first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's such a fast leg So kick. both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and just throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Big head kick lands. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful kick. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. There's a kick. 
Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. The right hand just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 20 seconds left. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guards, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, he just lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Punch over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick. Oh, nice. Oh, big punch land. Massive head kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. So fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Oh, Peral's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Barrow gets up clearly. He wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great play of making the first attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. He thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All 
All right, the action continues here and now as our Five next round, round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world of the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Big punch land. Ooh. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Switching stances here. Just missed with the straight left hand. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Barrow. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Barrow gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Connects with a right. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Down defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. Oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.